Does posting content consistently on all the different platforms feel like a constant uphill battle? If you said yes, you're not alone. I was in the same exact boat, struggling to balance managing my clients, doing my client work, and creating the content that I needed to promote my business. And for me personally, ideas were never the problem. I have a ton of ideas and I love to create. So creating content actually wasn't the issue. The issue was everything that came after the content creation stage and actually getting all of these great ideas and content out into the world. If you two are struggling to stay consistent with your social media and feel like you always have ideas sitting and gathering dust in your Notion database or in your brain, today I've got a tool for you. And I know what you're thinking, Jess, I've tried other social media tools like Planoly and Later, and I just haven't been able to be consistent and they just really added another layer of work to my workflow. I tried all these too, and that's why I was so excited when I found Notion Social, which is a integration that allows you to schedule social media directly from Notion. This has been a game changer, not only ensuring that I show up consistently on social media, allowing me to get all of my ideas, all of the content that I create out into the world, but also help me develop a omnipresence because it allows me to quickly and effortlessly schedule and plan social media posts directly from my Notion dashboard. Okay, so let me show you how you can quickly integrate Notion into your social media workflow so that you can keep consistent in your content creation even on your busiest days. Okay, first things first, you're gonna to wanna to create a social media database in Notion. I believe Notion Social gives you one to use, but if you're wanting a more advanced one that's already got some preloaded templates in it, mine is available for purchase in the description below. All right, next you're gonna to wanna to link your social media accounts in Notion Social. So just go to start scheduling and then go to social accounts and then click add. It's super quick and easy. I'm gonna add a LinkedIn because I just started posting on the wonderful world of LinkedIn as an experiment. So I'm just gonna log into my LinkedIn if my password is right. Let's see, try this one. There we go. And then it is connecting to my LinkedIn account. And so this is all of the different platforms I've connected to different Notion databases. So if your social media strategy is simple, you can probably get away with one database, but because I have two different businesses and manage a podcast, I have a couple different databases that are connected to different social media accounts that I post from. So next you're gonna to wanna to connect your database. You can see here, I have this one social database and it's connected to all of my social media accounts. So my Instagram, my TikTok, my YouTube, my Pinterest, my podcast, Instagram, YouTube, and my LinkedIn. And then you're just going to connect your property names. The template that I give you already has the correct property names in it. So you won't have to do this and you just go ahead and hit save. You're also going to want to turn on this section for reels and stories, but Notion Social gives you a great guide to go ahead and get all of this set up. So this should not be an issue. And then this is just changing the status once it's scheduled to scheduled and then published so that I know in my Notion database what has been scheduled. So that's how simple and quick and easy it is to get started. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to schedule your post directly from Notion. So I'm gonna go on this guy because I've already got things loaded up in here. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna choose your published date and time, the time that you want Notion Social to schedule and publish it. You're gonna choose which platforms. And this is where it becomes really cool because if you wanna cross post on multiple platforms at the same time, you can just choose multiple platforms. So if I wanted this going on TikTok and Instagram, I could include that too. If I wanted to post as a YouTube short, I could include that as well. And then it's automatically gonna get posted to three different platforms. If you don't wanna post on multiple platforms with the same caption, you can easily just duplicate this page after you upload your clip and then change up the caption as you'd like so that it can be relevant on different platforms. But this is an easy way to just cross post really quickly. You're gonna do your status last. So you're gonna change it to, if it is a reel, you do wanna change like it to what format it is so that it knows when posting it on Instagram, it knows to post it as a reel. You're gonna add your caption right here. You can add all of your hashtags as well. It will post directly as you format it in this caption property. 
and then you're going to upload your media. So if you upload your real cover as the PNG as your first, and then you can upload your clip as your second. It'll post just like that on your Instagram. And then this is a automated Notion Social. So you can see that this has actually already been published. So that's showing me that it's been published. After it publishes, it also links to the content. So if you want to go and check out the content to make sure everything looks okay, there's a direct link there. If you're doing this as a Pinterest, you can choose what boards to post to. And if you want to add collaborators on Instagram, which is a great feature for getting more reach in your post, you can do that as well. So that is how easy it is to post post your reel from Instagram. So if we want to go to my Instagram right here, you can see that this was posted here with this cover directly by Notion Social. All right, and so now I'm gonna show you the third and one of my most favorite features of Notion Social is metrics. I am a metrics and data analytics girly, but I don't think I would ever take the time to collate all the metrics from every single post, but by using Notion Social, you can automatically track your likes, your comments, your views, your shares, how many profile visits you get from each post and how many new followers you gain from each post directly and automatically from your Notion dashboard. So Notion Social will automatically update these metrics every 30 minutes for up to seven days after your post was initially scheduled. So that you can get a idea of what of your social media content is resonating with your viewers, what would be great to repurpose and reuse, and just make sure that you're keeping an eye on your analytics so that you can optimize for growth. All right, so there you have it, my stress-free system for managing all of my content creation directly from Notion. This system has helped me stay organized, stay consistent, develop an omnipresence, and grow my business and my followers in a calm and sustainable way. As always, if you found this useful, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more tips on how to build a simple, scalable, and sustainable business. And if you'd like to try out Notion Social for free or grab my social media template, you can do so in the description down below.